episode of this particular series and first of all i want to welcome you to coding techniques so guys this is going to be a great episode this is episode number four where we are going to design the order screens which you can see it on the screen so if you like this particular design that you see it on the screen it's time to design this up right let's go for that so here you can see one thing i want to mention you that different kinds of uh, orders which you will see out here so we have mostly two kinds one is send packages where you have the source and destination and then you have the amount to be paid that's the only check in the send packages one and the next one is the restaurant one or any kind of uh, medicine also whatever you need to have the items that you are ordering so basically out here the items will show up and then the pricing of it i've just kept it a little brief and if you want in description definitely go for the order details which we haven't designed right now so this is what we are going to design let's go for that all right so i have already designed all the screens uh, the wallet search and home page is ready well on the search page we can do some more stuff so out here for the empty screen we are going to implement at the very end of this all all the episodes maybe in the next episode i'm implement it up and see it out here we will these are the things that are coming up now we will jump into the order section and out here in the html we are going to start with the designing part so let me just show you again so this is the thing that we are going to implement let's go for that and i'm going to start with the iron header now in the iron header i'll replace this particular iron header with my one where i have the iron toolbar color to be primary and then i'm going to have the iron title let's go to order to show you up this is the one so i have given the mode to be empty because i want it on the start and side not on the center okay and then i've given an iron buttons uh, slot to be end where the search button is being passed okay to which the color is giving even white for this particular button and i have just passed i can only slot because i just want the icon to be a little bigger there won't be any other text or something that is why it's being done which makes the icon a little bit bigger than the normal one okay all right so once that is done everything looks fine let's work with this in the scss because we have some padding or something to be done so the padding needs to be applied on the iron toolbar in this particular manner at the top and bottom and which you can see out here it's looking nice now okay the next thing i'm going to work in the html is the iron content so at first i will give the iron content a color of primary okay then i'm going to have an iron list out here within which i will have an iron list header to which i've given more to be md as as earlier on so we have done the same stuff color to be light and i've given margin vertical okay so this is the one which is showing up in the king eight actually and then on the iron list well i'll give height to be 100 percent so that i see everywhere the ice itself okay not this color why and why i have done that actually i have given color to be primary i'll just show you in a few seconds because uh, basically out here i want to give the border radius okay and at the background i and I need the same primary color. That is why I'm doing this stuff. And to apply that up, I'll go to the SCSS and in the iron content, I will have this particular iron list where I've given a border radius of 10 pixel, 10 pixel. That means this 10 pixel and this 10 pixel at the very top left and top right. Then bottom left and bottom right, I've given zero, zero. I don't want anything out there. And I've given a height of 100%. That's why you can see everywhere it's white color. It means default background color that you get for an iron list all right once that is done everything is good to go we have achieved this particular part next thing we need to work with this particular one too let's go for that now the next thing after this iron header i'll have a div within which i have applied a lot of stuff actually and i'll explain you one by one don't need to worry so in this particular div i have at first an iron item for this particular one where i am passing the iron thumbnail at the start position that is by slot start and i've given image of package.png one and in the iron label i have passed send packages okay because this is a package means a delivery package from one place to another that is the order that is available out here okay and i after that a p tag is being used where you will pass the date okay now i'm not making this order one dynamic if you want let me know in the comment section i'll make it done if you need but you can make it on your own also because the design is almost is there you can use most of the time and going to work okay even you can keep both these things and pass ng if uh, the type of uh, order that you're having just give it a value out there 
by which you can detect whether it is a send package or any other order set type of an uh, or any other order type so that's how you can pass it up okay now coming back to this particular one so this is the stuff i passed in the iron label and that's how we got this design and this particular arrow one we got by passing details detail to be true and i have also passed class to it of type okay which doesn't mean anything we are going to work with that in SS. that is why i passed that up all right and the lines to be none this is the only thing which i've done the next thing i have worked out here for showing the pickup location and the drop location so for the pickup and drop location i have created an iron row where i have passed a class pick drop okay any name i have passed where in which i am passing an iron column of size 6 both of them are size 6 size 6 and the first one have a class of pick okay then within that i am using an iron item where lines to be none obviously i don't want any lines and after that i have passed the iron thumbnail slot is start obviously at the start one i am passing an image so the image is marker pick which you will find it in the sx1 okay this is which is this particular one then after that i am using an iron label where i am passing this location of the pickup one which is this particular one okay and then the next iron column we are doing the same stuff only but on this particular side okay now we want some border in between okay and we want to play, play around with the sizes also so in order to design that part we need to go to where we need to go to the STSs. but before that in the next row i have passed this particular amount so the paid one now for that i'm using an iron row where i'm passing iron padding at first so that we have some padding in all places and then i am passing a dynamics and class called amount where i'm going to work with that in the scss and then on the iron text i'm passing color to be dark by default for everyone where i have paid and the currency symbol after that i'm passing another iron text let me break it down if you are getting confused in this particular manner okay so i'm having two iron text one within the other where i am passing the amount because the amount color is different that is why i'm doing i think something broke because there is some extra spacing out here which i don't want now it's fine there was an extra spacing between the rupee symbol and the amount which i don't want so i'll keep it in one line only otherwise i have to break down in a different manner say like rupee symbol also i have to place it at the bottom i don't want that right now so this is the only thing which i've done for this particular one and the last one is another iron row where i have two iron columns of size six within that i have two iron buttons one on each okay where in the first one i have passed fill to be clear so this is fill to be clear there won't be any border or background color and then i have passed iron icon and iron text the text color is dark the icon color is uh, primary color and the name is check mark circle okay and the slot is start so it will be present before the text okay that's what it's being placed now on the second one we have another iron button where the shape is round expand to block and the text is reordered okay that's what i have out here design this up as per our need let's go for that so i'm going to work around with all these classes amount then i'm going to work with pick and pick drop also so let's achieve that in our scss in the iron list itself i'm going to work with this particular classes now within a div in the iron list i'm going to work around with all these iron items and iron rows let's go for that so at first i'm going to work with the type iron item where i'm going to pass the font uh, sorry the thumbnail height and width of 5 vh so that it is fixed to a certain extent then to the iron label font size and font weight is the major thing that i need to check and to the p tag well i have given a font size of 0.575 rem which is smaller and a margin top of 0.4 vh so that there is some margin between the text or the name and the date okay now it's looking pretty nice out here and after that what we need to work with is this particular pick drop one right that's the name i think okay so for the pick drop one what exactly i will do well after this particular iron item i'm going to work with the iron row and in the iron row well because there are almost everything is within the iron row itself 
let me work with that at first because I'll pass some default settings. Then I'll work with the pick drop one. So out here, I'm going to work with the iron text at first where I'm going to pass font size to be 0.5 REM and the font weight to be 450, which will be passed to everything with the iron row, which is placed within the iron text. Then in the iron column where I have button shape round, that means this particular reorder button uh, where I will pass width to be 80%, okay, some little space I want out there that is by 80% and the text uh, within this particular button, I have given a font size of 0.85 RDM so that it looks smaller and much appropriate, okay. So this is the thing that I've implemented out here and this text will be implemented in this particular one. Okay, so this row one is placed everywhere. That's great. Now I need to simply work with the other part within the row. That is, let me just check this pick, uh, where is it? Yeah, this pick class for the iron column, I'm going to work with that now. Let's go for that. So for this iron column of class pick, I'm going to pass a border right off, one pixel solid, color to be light. So you see a border right, right? That is why I've given a class pick for the pickup one, only the pickup one, not the drop one. Okay. Now once that is done, the next thing I'm going to implement or work with is the iron item because that is present within the iron column, right? So now for the iron item, I'm going to pass the dynamic means the default one to everywhere because without iron column also we can have the iron item or I'll just place it out there or you can pass if you want to make it specific then you can simply pass within the pick class also okay so at first I'm just removing the start padding start okay uh, to be five pixel I'm placing it up otherwise there was more padding at the start one which I don't want okay once that is done everything is good to go if I don't give that you will see some more uh, padding out here which I don't want okay so the padding I have just changed it up then for the iron thumbnail which is being used that is for this particular uh, images that is being used out here. I've given a height and width of 3 VH and a margin right of 3 pixels. Okay, so the margin right is also defined properly. Then for the iron label, I have reduced the size to 0.7 RE, which is pretty smaller and it is more visible now. Okay, once that is done, this only few stuff is left. Let's implement that right now. Now, the only thing that is left is after this iron row. I will have two more stuff, which is iron row of class amount and iron row of class reorder because I want some border bottom out there after the reorder and border bottom after amount also. So this is the after amount. I want one pixel and after reorder, I want one VH because that is the order summary which we have. So after the order is finished, I want some border. Definitely you can pass it on the div also. I think that will be better, but I'll pass it out here. I think that's fine. Okay. Once that is done, I think our basic design is ready. One of the order design is ready. The next one, let's work on that too. In the HTML, I'm going to have another div. Let me paste it. So this will be my second div. This is the one. Let me just pass an identifier or something. Comment out there, restaurant items or items order i would say that is more understandable it means okay so now out here in the div i have an item just like we have it out here okay the first part is almost the same which is this particular one but for the restaurant well you can change the icon uh, as per your requirement i think what i what did i use home one for the restaurant shop too let me use the same one out here in the order one also is it order one at the bottom Okay, shop to GPG. All right, now it is showing up. That's great. So the thumbnail part is done. Then for the iron label, we have the same stuff. I'm not going to explain except one thing. We have another P tag. So for the location of the restaurant, we have another thing. That's only change in this particular iron item. After that, we have a div to which class of items is being given, which we are going to work with, where we have an iron row, uh, which I'm looping it up twice just to get the same items okay you can have different items also all right so i'm passing an iron text means you can have multiple items actually out here and i'm just giving the school out there basically, which is basically a suite so and i have given out here the image to be location.page you will find it on the assets folder all right so this is being done and you get this kind of a design which is ugly right now we will design it in the scss to make it much better
okay after that we have this particular one which i have commented which we used in the earlier order type i'll remove it now we have the same row for the paid one that's pretty same and the last part is also the same so you can see there is a lot of similarities the only thing you need to change out here is this particular one so the the two divs are changing one is the pick drop and the other one is the items one the next thing you need to apply is the condition is in this particular p tag which is in the first iron item that's the only thing you need to do other things are the same now we simply need to work with this div items okay that's the only thing that is left rest we have already covered it up so this div is present within the main div so i'll simply paste it okay and at first i have given some margin top of 2vh okay to so have some margin out here then on the iron row i have given margin bottom of 1vh basically between this particular i have given some margin bottom i suppose i am not wrong yes iron row that's great then i work with the iron text which is this particular iron text where we have this particular text one where i have resized it to not resize actually i have given margin left from the icon or the image there is, should be some margin so i have given 3vh margin and to the image i have set the width and height of 1vh which is looking lovely now and for the iron text i have given margin left also to be 1vh and why i have done that i just forgot okay let me just check that okay for the icon also because it is present within the iron text if you see this image this is also present within the iron text so i have given the default margin for the iron text to be 0.3vh okay th this 3vh sorry that is applied out here also and out here also and for this particular iron text which is present within the iron text i've given a margin left of 1vh which is overriding this particular 3vh if i don't give this you will see a bigger margin just check this out okay so that is how you can override things within that okay so now we have achieved the order section the design is looking lovely according to me so our episode 4 is successfully done we have designed our order screen pretty nicely so do let me know in the comment section whether you are liking this particular series or not and if you haven't checked my courses yet do check that out links are there in the description limited period offer are going on so please check that out okay and with this i'll sign off for the day and i'll see you in the next one fearless